<laughs> this may look like a pond, but it is a flooded connecting road to Joslovo. Drivers are forced to navigate in deep waters, risking damage to the vehicles. In the early 90s, Joslovo was a small area occupied by sharks. In 1996, a group of locals and business leaders form a development trust known as Makone Beam to build low-cost subsidy housing for low-income earners. A community-driven project, which we as people living in this uh, informal settlement, we were eight members, and the five members were some people who've got higher positions in their companies. So we carried on building the house behind me. This is the first house that we built. And all of the houses here in Joslovo Park are same like this one. But the area has since developed and has become densely populated. Waste is poorly disposed and the streets are constantly flooded with water due to blocked drains and dysfunctional stormwater systems. A serious health hazard to local businesses and residents. Uh, here and here we are selling uh, fruits, we are selling veggies, so it needs cleanliness. Yes. So uh, this sewage, it's a sewage this one. Yes. It's not right for our food, you see. Uh, it's not unhealthy. It's unhealthy, I'm saying. It's unhealthy. People are not happy. In Joslovo, residents say the living conditions are deteriorating and have become unbearable. The city says three factors led to the blocked drains in the area, namely the operations at Phoenix Pump Station, a collapsed sewer pipe, and pollution of grey water entering the stormwater system. And a detailed action plan for the area has been developed and reporting on this action plan takes place every two weeks. To be included in the action plan are an educational and awareness campaign, enforcement of bylaws, especially pertaining to food vendors, illegal car washes, illegal dumping, fat grease traps, illegal sewer connections to stormwater and manholes. With regards to solid waste management services within the area, so Joe Slovo is a densely populated area that experiences the same challenges as any other densely populated area in the city. The city says urbanization is placing an increased demand for services. It says residents removed a shipping container that was meant to store waste generated in the area. Residents are calling on authorities to engage directly with them to find a lasting solution. We people that are living here, we know all of us, the conditions that we are coping, we are living in every day. You see, it's an order of the day that you find Joe's love or is filthy. And then now, this thing now is, is becoming worse now. So we don't want to exchange words with the municipality officials. What we want is them to come down to Joe's love or leadership uh, so that we come up with a plan on how must we clean our place. Residents say all they want is permanent solution to address waste management and blocked drains in the area. Ah, Tule Joga, SABC News, Joe Slovo, Cape Town.